All of you know that God used that rod in the ten plagues. And now I want you to skip over to Exodus 14 when they have left Egypt. The Israelites, Moses makes a tactical mistake. He camps in front of the Red Sea. The Egyptians change their mind. They come up from behind him. You have the Red Sea in front of you, the Egyptians behind you. There is nowhere to go. Keep in mind the Egyptians, probably the world's greatest army of that time. The Israelites untrained. They don't have weapons. What are they going to do? They are between the proverbial a rock and a hard place. You ever been there? You ever been between a rock and a hard place when you think I can't go forward? I can't go backwards. What am I going to do? Moses, just off the top of his head, told the people, he said, stand back and see the salvation of the Lord, not having a clue what was going to happen because it says that he went into a tent or he went somewhere by himself and started crying out to God for help. How do you know that? Because the scripture says, the Lord said, why are you crying to me? And Moses said, well, God, I'm not trying to tell you your business, but uh, we can't go forward. We can't go backward. They're about to tear into us. What are we supposed to do? And God said, Moses, what's that in your hand? Well, it's a rod. What does it symbolize? It symbolizes the presence and the purpose and the power of God. He said, take the rod. Stretch forth the rod. Use the principle of the rod. And it said when Moses stretched forth the rod and called on the name of God, the wind started to blow. The Egyptians could not move forward. The Red Sea opened up and they walked over on Interstate 1. When you get into those times in your life, when there is nowhere to go forward, and you cannot go backwards, Cast it down before God. Remember the principle of the rod.